Y'all know I love talking oxalates. Now before I get into this, I want to say up front, I do not support food fear. I don't think we should fear foods, especially whole foods, but there are things we need to know about certain whole foods that are left out of the mainstream discourse that wants you to eat heaps and heaps of vegetables every day with no discrimination. So it's important to know about oxalic acid. I have a long YouTube video on this topic, so if you need more background info, please go to my YouTube channel and check that out. But pelvic, urinary, and vaginal pain that is idiopathic, you know, like cannot be otherwise explained, can be from oxalate toxicity. This includes endometriosis. This includes recurrent kidney pain, kidney infections, kidney disease. This includes recurrent bladder infections, UTIs, especially ones that like don't show up with a bacterial culture, but sometimes even ones that do. And this can be vaginal pain, especially vaginismus, pain during sex, because of the little raphide crystals that oxalic acid forms into. When our bodies cannot detox these crystals fast enough, they build up in our tissues. And because they tend to go through our kidneys, they can build up in the tissues all around that area. And they can cause all of these kinds of symptoms. These aren't the only causes of these conditions, but especially people who have not been able to find any other cause, I would start looking at oxalates. 